Hey guys, I want to fix a New Year's uh, cabbage soup. I want to add just a little bit of everything. You know how I do it. Uh, got this water warming up. Trying to get it good and hot. First thing I want to do is put a shiny dime in there. That is, uh, I don't know everybody around here does that. I think it's uh, supposed to give you a prosperous new year. So I'm going to go ahead and dump me some cabbage in there. It's about a half a head. I got me about four medium sized potatoes diced up. Got about a half a cup of carrot, dehydrated carrots, and a half a cup of dehydrated celery. And I got some onions and green peppers. And let me find a spoon. Yeah, this will work. All that mixed up. Not much on cabbage, but. So. But it's just kind of a tradition around here. I like fried cabbage and like fried kraut. When I was a kid, I wouldn't eat it. But, you know, my wife, she's kindly brought me around a little bit. Okay, I've got some leftover turkey in the refrigerator. I'm gonna get it out and uh, cut some of it up and put it in here. Uh, I'm gonna put some, get some seasonings together, throw it in here. But I was gonna try to get this stuff on here so it would cook. Looks like I need to add just a little bit more water to it. So I'll get all that stuff ready and then I'll be back. Okay guys, I got my spices. I've got my meat. I've got this is a two cup meat uh, measuring cup. And I've got turkey and bacon. You can put whatever you want in there. That's what I had handy what I put in here. I added about four more cups of water to this to kind of get it a little soupy because I'm going to cook this until the, later this evening. My wife won't get off till about 7.30 so she probably won't eat till about 8, 8.30. She's a nurse so she works 12 hours she is. We've all been sick and it's been a bad few days here. Okay, I got that mixed in there. And uh, I'm gonna add these spices, seasons. I've got a little bit of everything in there. I've got salt, pepper, sugar, uh, seasoning salt, garlic powder, uh, onion powder, paprika, rosemary, thyme, bay leaves. Uh, not, but no, I didn't put any bay leaves. Uh, let me show you. Parsley flakes, rosemary, thyme, cumin, garlic and pepper seasoning, sage, basil, paprika. I didn't put any Italian seasoning in there. And then the old standby, uh, Mrs. Dash and Lowry's. I'm going to add them in there. About a I just put a little bit, whatever's handy, guys. Uh, there's no certain recipe I follow. Yeah, it looks like good enough to me. So, it is 1.42 in the evening. In the afternoon, I'll say that, in the p.m. That's what it looks like at 1.42 in the p.m. I'll show you what it looks like later this afternoon, this evening. And I'll be back. And guys, I'm back. I just want to uh, throw in there. I had some corn in the freezer or in the refrigerator. Thanks for uh, Christmas dinner. Throw a couple scoops of that in there. I found some of that. Uh, Magi chicken flavor and tomato bouillon 
It don't speak Spanish, so I don't know what that says. It might say dehydrated turd for all I know. But that's what the the English part says. So that's what I'm going by. And I have that in there. And I'll just tell you, this has got the best smell ever was right now. I'm stir that corn up. You put bacon or corn in anything, and it's going to taste good with the onion, peppers. Mm. And I've got some uh, hot bananas I'm going to want to throw in there. My wife, they tear her up pretty bad. I may just put them in my bowl. Well, that's what we got right now. I'll get back with you. Hey, guys. It's about eight minutes after four. And I think this is pretty well done what it's going to do. I've just got it on like a simmering heat. Man, if you could just smell this. That bacon really flavors it. Thing looks done to me. Carrots are all plumped up there with the hydrated carrots. Okay. Celery. You see it in there, man. Right? Oh, I can't wait to get into that. Went ahead and fixed me up a pound of this cornbread. Got me a bowl ready, cooling off. Um, kind of rearing at the bit to get into it. And that smells pretty good. Uh, cornbread, it's. Them, I said in some of my earlier videos that my skillet got washed on me without my knowing. <laughs> And I've re-seasoned it three times and it, it's getting better. The middle of it didn't break right around the edges. So I re laid some more oil to it and just put it back in the oven. So it keeps getting better and better. It just takes a little while to get it the way you want. Before uh, it got washed, I could uh, you know, empty the bread and it, nothing ever stuck and it was perfect. It just takes a while to get it back, you know, the way it was. Guys, I want to wish you all a happy new year. Uh, wish everyone luck on the year coming, 2013. I hope uh, we all have good health and good fortunes and uh, you know, all that good stuff. I want to pre just tell you guys I appreciate all the support I get. Uh, YouTube, you know, I thought it was just a place to watch videos, learn how to do stuff, and I found out that there's a lot of friendship made on YouTube. Uh, you know, there's some people on there that's not out for that, but then you find these people uh, every now and then that, you know, you all become real good friends. And I've got several, just a lot of the guys that, and gals that uh, watch my channel, we've become pretty good friends. Well, guys, Happy New Year. I hope it's a great year for you. God bless.